what are they fighting for? If it's a war, cells, munitions, submarines, yet you take the lives of American soldiers and put them up for the, to defend the United States. Are they defending the United States or are they defending the social institutions, the war factories, the war industries? Do you see what I mean? Mm. So merely marching in front of the stock market or the stock exchange is only part of this system. The public pays taxes. They support the police, the army, the war weapons, everything. The very rich pay very little taxes. Yet they control the police, and they control the National Guard, and they control the army. It's the public that pays the police a salary. I am told they arrested... 700 plus. Uh, by now they've erected, you say, 700. Arrested. Well, that's interesting. Well, they, but they, remember, the public pays their salary. They don't know who the hell they're serving. When they serve Wall Street, that means the money people really control the country, not the public. And 80% of the people say they're not satisfied with the government's decisions. So if you walk in front of the stock exchange and you say that these people are corrupt, the whole system is corrupt. You have to point out these things. They want to cut Medicare for the poor. What do you suggest as an alternative? Let them die? Bring that up. What do you suggest? The guy that says, well, we don't want to give people free medical care. What do you want them to do, die? Yes or no? Well, they can't answer that. So pin them down. Mm -hmm. When they say, uh, uh, we love this country, our boys are out there fighting, giving up their lives for the country, don't you think we ought to take the profit out of war also? Just like the guys don't make money fighting over there, they get a minimum wage fighting. And then when you figure out the cost of war, all the aircraft carriers, all the airplanes, all the cities destroyed, and all the nations wiped out, it's cheaper to take that money and build new cities all over the world, helping people to understand the benefits of technology and knowledge. The whole country is involved in exploitation. If you're a dentist, you make money on me if I need a root canal. If you dent your automobile, somebody makes money straightening out the fenders. So everything is profitable. And we want that change. We want the world to concern itself with people and taking care of the environment. It's the greatest gift we have. The trees, the topsoil, the oceans, where ships Luxury liners empty their bills into the ocean. That means the oil and all the stuff, they pump it in the ocean. The oceans are the toilet of the world. All big hotels pump their fecal matter out into the oceans. So what do you expect from that? Do you expect the dolphins to live on healthy lives? They can't. And if you use genetic manipulation without a long-term study of the effects of it, you're going to hurt people. It's the system, not Wall Street. The system produces all that. Therefore, we offer an alternative system, and this is what it is. To declare the earth the common heritage of all the world's people. And for those of you that are religious, God didn't make the earth for the Greeks, or the Polacks, or the Jews, or the French. He made it for all the people of the world. Use religion. Use it that way. You can find that in the Bible. Love your enemy, it says. It says thou shalt not kill in all Bibles. And yet people don't seem to follow that. So apparently they don't understand what they're reading. And they believe in honesty and good and fair play. Where did we get this land? We stole it from the Indians. And women who disagreed were burned as witches in Salem, Massachusetts. And the Ku Klux Klan in America had three million members. If you don't bring that up, that's a problem. The problem is that freedom and individual opinions can become dangerous. I asked many people years ago whether they thought man will ever get to the moon. They said, not in a thousand years. I said, you know anything about rockets? No. You know anything about space travel? No. Well, how do you formulate that? 
How can we give everybody a right to their own opinion? Why don't you give them access to information? And so essentially, you have to educate people, teach them about the system, how it works, where it's offensive. If a man commits a crime, say he steals a watch worth $200, it's his third offense. He goes to jail for seven years. It's cheaper to give him a watch than feed him for seven years and take care of his medical problems and hotel, his food. And put him a man in jail is cruel beyond description. It's, it's uh, confining a human, taking away his life, putting him there for 10 years, some 20 years, some life in prison. The judge has no idea what he's doing. He doesn't know the condition that shaped that value system. If he knew where that man came from, if he knew the conditioning of that man, he'd say it's not his fault. He was brought up to hate and kill and murder. It seems that all people that kill and murder are really enacting the way movies, all our cowboy pictures, never sit down and discuss anything. They shoot people. Can't get two guns, they shoot people. And the Indians were fighting for their land. We stole it from them. But we shoot Indians. And we show the, the guys in the covered wagons, you know. What the hell are you taking their land away from? Why don't you ask them whether we can settle down here? They say, no. Uh, we didn't ask them, we took it. And we drove the Indians to the desert region. They're still looking for justice. The Indians aren't going to get justice because they have no power. And so if they get an Indian in the Congress, if he doesn't conform to the views of the congressman, they'll move him out. Do you understand? Now, as long as sports exist, racing cars, football, baseball, they act as detractors. They detract people from the real issues. They don't even know what the real issues are. The real issues is to take care of this God-given earth, if you're talking to them to take care of nature. God put the trees here to give us oxygen. We give out carbon dioxide, the trees use that. Use religion. Whatever, wherever they're at, talk to them. Say it's not going to change anything if you march in front of Wall Street. But if you talk to other people and get a sufficient amount of people organized to demand the Venus Project, then when 80% of the people don't trust their government anymore, they don't trust what the Republicans say about the Democrats, what the Democrats say about the Republicans. They just don't feel comfortable. And they don't know what else to do. So they would like to, like the Arabs, change the culture. But what do you change it to? They don't know. So if they succeed in changing the culture, it'll revert back to the old values. Unless they you teach them about the new value system. Then they say, well, they've tried that for years and it never worked. Who tried it? When did they try it? Pin them down. Well, I don't know who you are. You say, I'm not interested in your opinion. I want facts. Okay? And they'll try to detract you. They'll say, well, it'll kill incentive. Have you ever tried it? No, Russia has. Well, Russia didn't have the resources we had and they didn't steal the land, it was their land. But Russia had men pulling boats along the Volga River. Did you know that? They had no power system. And life was so miserable for the majority of people, they took to an ideal where said maybe if the people owned the means of production, they wouldn't hurt each other. So they tried a social experiment and they failed because they didn't know how precisely to carry it out, to attain what they wanted. If the socialists got into power, they'd be concerned about the working man. And if automation came up, they said, no, we'd rather have people working. And other nations will pass us by, surpass us, because they put in automation. You have to, when, when you get new machines that work everything in the factory, let's say you got 3,000 people working in that, now you got 1,500, and machines assembling cars. You have to point out that if new machines come in, you'll get the workers together and say, 
Instead of working eight hours, you now work four hours a day. And you, instead of getting a week off every year, you get two months off with your family, and they can pay. That's what the machines do. But if the machines cause you to lose your job, you're going to hate machines. But machines, when used intelligently, if they turn out 50 times more than a man can turn out, industry will use machines. They don't give a shit about people. They don't care whether they lay off 400 people or 500 or 3,000 if they make more money doing it. The Japanese are presently working on human faces. They're not quite good enough. But when you get human faces on television to sell toothpaste, it works for about 15 cents an hour. And so eventually, instead of having people selling goods on TV, you'll have a face. Sweet old lady, excellent face. But today, the heads turn like that. They don't turn naturally. But when the Japanese finally get there, you, everybody can be displaced, including doctors, lawyers. If you don't understand that, the more sophisticated, they say, well, a scientist can't be displaced. He can think. No. A scientist is given every word in school that, that gravity is a force that shows itself by electrical, magnetic, and chemical effect. Every word that they use is pumped in. So if you made a computer, an architectural computer, you can say to it, I want a home. And then it'll say, what kind of home? It has to say that. And you'll say, I'm not sure, because you're not a student of architecture. So different homes will appear and rotate, and you say, finally, no, not that one. And then you'd say to the computer, I'd like to see the floor plan, and it understands language. If you don't understand that, there are machines that can type to speech that don't understand language. So just like the architect, you say, I'd like to see the floor plan, and the roof lifts off, or a blueprint is presented to you. So you begin to design integrated systems. You know what that means? That, that you take in the whole factor and say, instead of selling an air conditioner to every home, we pipe air-conditioned air all around and you absorb what you want. You turn it on. That's much cheaper than selling an air conditioner or a lawnmower to 5,000 houses. The lawnmower people would love to do that, to sell a lawnmower to each house. Instead of that, you have four or five giant lawnmowers that take care of a whole area. Do you understand that? So they say, do we have enough resources? We don't, using it the way it's used today. A lawnmower, air conditioner hanging out of every window. You know, that's not no way to do things. And then you have a thousand farms growing the same thing. You have farms, large farms, industrial farms, without genetic engineering, unless it's been tested for many years to make sure there's no negative effects. Uh, the system I'm talking about doesn't profit anyone to lie. And everybody has access to books, school, free of charge, and there's no taxation. And if you don't like that system, what are you, an atheist? You know, you, you approach religious people that way. Because this is what God wants. It's called the brotherhood of man. This doesn't differ from any religious teaching. It really doesn't. So if you want, if you're with normal people, if, you, if they say, will you come to the Presbyterian church and give a presentation, do it in that guise. And if you go to a bunch of humanists that are atheists, you don't need to do use religion. You can just point out the shortcomings. I think I told you about the girl that came with me with a whip and handcuffs, and she says, I like to be whipped and handcuffed to the bed. She was a Catholic and couldn't think of having sex without force. Then it's, it's not her fault. So she always dreamt of guys holding her down and making love to her. And that was legitimate to her, but if she thought of, gee, having sex, that was sinful. So. Is she bad? No. Is she wrong? No. She's brought up under different circumstances. It takes a long while to learn that. It's much easier to get mad at people. When you get mad at them, you feel relieved. 
But in the future, when you understand that's where they're coming from, you don't get mad.